We're catching up with Kelsey Ballerini. She's fresh off hosting the CMT Awards. She just released brand new music with Lainey. And she's got an upcoming tour with the Jonas Brothers. I think we have to start with brand new music whenever there's brand new music in the world. You performed with Lainey. You ha- you hosted the CMT Awards this week. Yes. What is the prep like going into this? You know, it's so interesting because for me, like hosting lets me wear the fangirl hat because it, it lets you be all up in it and like not only perform and like do what I do, but then also stand there beside my friends and introduce them and then watch them and like get to cheer them on and get to be a fan. And that's like, that's the part of me that I've really tried to keep nurtured and keep watered because I, I want to, I don't know. I always want to have that like, Oh my gosh, like Garth Brooks is about to perform. We're like, Oh my gosh, Carrie Underwood's right there. Like I never want to lose that. So I think hosting just allows me to, to wear both hats. And I remember when I was doing greatest hits that show with Arsenio years ago, I was so nervous about reading a teleprompter and I was so nervous about like, what if I mispronounce something or what if I stutter? And he was just like, honey, as long as you know who you're introducing and what, like what they're singing, the prompter doesn't matter. Just roll with it. Like people want to see you be human. They don't want to see you be a robot. And so that's really helped me. I just, I just try to like, just try to roll with it and be human. That's all people want. I love that because I am a recovering perfectionist. There's a tape in my brain that's like, if you don't do it perfectly, people will hate you or fill in the blank. And the, the truth of the matter is we think we want perfection, but we actually want authenticity. Yeah, it's quite the opposite. And so when we when there's a blooper, you know, or when there is you're a moment where you're just a human, I think... Well, I fear that moment, but that is the truly connective moment. Especially in a time where everything feels so um, filtered and so just like there's a facade on everything, even accidentally. It's just like the society around culture has made it this way. You know, I think whenever there is a blooper or whatever, it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that person is human. We are allowed to be that way you know that that's my favorite thing about knowing kelly clarkson because to me even when i was younger and just a fan of hers before i even knew her as a woman like she represented that to me she's the woman who like sings her guts out and then like takes her shoes off and like talks about how sweaty she is on stage and like it humanizes her and it makes you just enjoy her more um and and i just i think we need more of that Tell me about I Quit Drinking and Lainey as a band, as friends. I want to hear all about it. So, I mean, I'm just a, such a fangirl over them. And I went to the Lainey show at the Ryman in 2019. And I hadn't met them yet. Um, and, like, bought tickets, <laughs> bought the merch, just totally went as a fan. Um, and hung out with them after the show. And just, like adore those guys and so stayed in touch specifically with paul and um and he comes to nashville he he's a belmont kid you know like he comes to nashville and writes a lot and uh we wrote in january with nicole galleon who i write with all the time and um and we didn't really go into it thinking we were gonna do a collab it was just I mean, I, I clearly was like, I would love this if it happens, but no pressure. We can just write a song for fun. I haven't seen anyone in a year, so I'm happy to just hang out. Um, and we, we got in the room and I was doing dry January. So I had quit drinking for the month and we were kind of just talking about the year and talking about where we were at. And, um, and I said, I was like, well, guys, I quit drinking. Um, and, and that was kind of the thing that sparked it. He sat down at the piano and, um, and it kind of just wrote itself. And it was it was this very natural progression of like, you know, like I've, I've always kind of played by the old school rules of three or four singles per album, let them take their 35 weeks at radio. And the, the reality is kind of the wild, wild west right now. Like you can kind of just play by your own rules. And so Half of My Hometown is obviously the song at radio, which I am so like excited about and have so much like joy for and pride around that song. But it's the first time that I've really kind of also like sidestepped a little bit and been like, and also this, cause I, I have it. Like if I think music should be 
written and shared. I think it should be out there. Tell me a little bit about what doing that performance was like for you. <laughs> it was so much fun. I, for some reason with this song, there, there are some songs that I write and I'm like, I need, I need to like solicit treatments for this. I have no visual idea. And then there are some songs where I'm like, this is what it is. And this song in particular, I just had this vision um, for it to start like, cause when you're, when you quit drinking, you're sober. When you're sober, you're dry. Like that's another word for it. So I love the idea of starting the performance dry and the whole time you're building tension, you're building tension. And by the end of it, it's pouring and you're soaking wet. Um, and so with with the performance that we just did and then also with the video that comes out soon um it kind of follows that idea of going from you know i quit drinking dry like deserty and then um and then at the end you're just soaked because you didn't actually quit drinking well i love that and i love the vision that you have and the vision that you help cast for your own music for the visuals um in what you're doing and i'm thinking of another performance that i loved which was the ACM performance with Kenny for half of my hometown. That was crazy. Um, I just, you know, doing a song with a hero and a legend like that, I I never expect anything. I'm like, the fact that you even lent your vocal to this song is more than I could ever ask for. So I was really kind of timid even asking him to do that performance. And he was already performing. So it was like asking him to put another hat on. and um, And he just... He's just shown up for this song more than I could ever ask. Um, and I've gotten to collaborate with a lot of people. And it's interesting how different people kind of, you know, are partners with the song or or kind of just aren't. <laughs> and, um, and Kenny has been, has been a, a real partner with me on this song. And just I think I think it's because, you know, we feel it in our guts. It's about where we were raised and how we were raised and why we moved away and, and the, the pride we feel towards our hometown and also like the, the, the gratitude we have that we left. And, and I think we share that. And um, anyway, so that performance, you know, I don't know if I'll ever get to perform it with them again. Um, I certainly won't ask him all the time. So I think it, it was for me just about sitting there with, my hometown hero and singing the song as it was written with him on that stage. That was all I wanted it to be. And I think sometimes less is more. And that was a performance where we just wanted the song to be the song. I love that this video for half of my hometown plays with the idea of there was this totally other life that Kelsey could have had that would have been lovely and wonderful. And like, there's a way that leaving your hometown is not a critique of it necessarily. So I don't know. I don't know what that makes you think of, but I love to hear your thoughts. It was it was such an interesting um, story to play out because I wanted it to look beautiful because it's a beautiful life and it's a life that a lot of my closest friends are living in that town, you know. So I wanted to make sure that I I told that story well and kind of carefully. Um, it, it's interesting because we really did have the conversations of like, okay, well, what would it look like? Like I probably would like probably have kids and I probably would be in hair and makeup and I probably would like, you know what I mean? Like it it just, we had the conversation of the hypothetical life I probably would be having right now. Um, had I stayed and it, that in itself is like such a emotional place to go to. Um, but to be honest with you, like after we wrapped the video, I was like yeah, even more grateful that I'm here and even more grateful that I'm getting to to live this life and, and dig in and like grow and make a fourth record. Like not a lot of people get to do that. And I, that is not lost. So I, I just I think it it really like it, it was it, I sobbed every day. It was a three day video shoot. I sobbed every single day. Um, and yeah, I think it's, I think it's like a, a story that is very possible. Um, but it's just not mine. Isn't there a beauty in acknowledging how valuable another person's story or life or choices are and also going, and that's not for me. There have been so many little, not little, big full circles that have happened in the last year, I guess, that have reminded me that I'm on the right path. And and doing a song with Kenny is one of them. Just, you know what I mean? Like those, those full circle moments, what, like 
I really think it's like where God's just kind of like, keep going. This is right. I'm letting you know that you're in the right place at the right time. Keep going. And Kenny was one of them. And, and this Jonas tour is one of them. Like I, I was obsessed with them. <laughs> like, fully had my walls coated in their posters. And, um, and I've gotten to know them over the years, specifically Nick. And I just, I, I really adore them as people. And, um, yeah. And when that, when that ask happened, I was just like, this is another full circle moment. I have to say, yes, this is where I'm supposed to be. So, um, it's going to be really exciting. And what a cool way to get back on the road. Like I get to see my fans, but I also get to make a whole, like a whole new group. I meet new people, you know, which is going to be amazing. <laughs> 